This lesson involves creating three-dimensional formulas. Uh, up until now, we've been creating formulas on the same sheet where the numbers happen to be. Now we're going to start creating formulas that are going to refer to cells on different sheets. So they call these three-dimensional formulas. Um, a little daunting at first, a little scary at first, but what, like everything else, once you've done a few of them, it's really not that difficult. Uh, you simply need to find the sheet name that you're referring to and the cell that you're referring to and make sure that your formula makes sense. So what I've done here is I've got a sheet, I've got a, a workbook that has weeks 1 to 13 and now I've got a summary sheet that I'm calling quarter 1. So I'm going to try and summarize what's happening here so that management, ownership can take a look at the numbers without having to look at every single sheet. So in order to do that, I'm going to start by taking these labels and rather than having to retype them, I'm simply going to copy and paste them. So with them selected, I'm just going to right click and copy. But instead of regular paste, I'm going to want my summary to be very, very small, very brief and easy to read. So I'm going to use a paste special here. So I'm going to go for paste and paste special and I'm going to ask to transpose. All right, and then I'll just double click here so that that fits nicely and I'd be able to now I don't need the employee number so I'm just going to delete that row but now what I want is I want formulas that are going to summarize the totals for production so I want not only the production for week one but I want production for week two if I only wanted this the production for week one the 3d formula would be equal you always start with the sheet name and this is one of the reasons why you never use spaces, you never use plus, minus, uh, divide, or multiply when you're naming a sheet. No spaces, no funny characters. So week one, and you separate the name of the sheet by the cell with an exclamation mark. All right, that's just a symbol they chose to separate. So it knows that it's week one, and now you need to type in which cell it is. And here it would be B13. So it's automatically gone to find whatever happens to be in that cell, and that's what's going to show up here. Now, what I want, so we're going to take this one step further. I don't just want week 1 B13. I want weeks 1, 2, week 13 B13. So this is what you, you can do week 2, exclamation mark B13 okay so plus week 2 plus week 3 but that would make for a huge formula if you only had 2 to add that's the way I would probably do it but we're going to use a sum function here instead and we're going to say give me the sum of week 1 all the way to week 13 cell B13 actually I'm going to close my bracket right back here so it's week one, two, week 13, exclamation mark, B13. And now what I hit enter, I should be getting, because I had the same numbers. I set it up to be a very easy um, ex, uh, example. 2010 is the number in each of these weeks. So 2010 divided by 13 is effectively exactly that. So I know that my formula is working. Um, you're going to have to redo that formula all the way down. So once again, it was equal sum, open your bracket, the first week, all the way to the last week. This is also, it's important that when you lay out your sheets that you do them in order. Okay, you're not going to want week 13 to be right here because in some versions of Excel it's going to stop right there. So it would do week 1, it would do week 13, and it would not see all of the rest of them. And make sure you don't make any mistakes when you're typing as I just did. So it's week 13 exclamation mark B 13 and of course you're going to need to make sure that you've copied and pasted properly and that they're all referring to B 13 now here I don't want B 13 and I made another mistake here I want wages so that's going to be C 13 I would have gotten the same answer as I have up here if I would have left that like that so it's week 1 to week 13 C 13 and now I'm getting the total for wages and you, you would just keep going down that way and as these individual sheets will change your formulas because they are formulas will give you a, a you know whatever answer you need so you see how small and tidy this is going to be for a manager 
or an owner to be able to look at the numbers very quickly as opposed to having to sift through 13 pages of data in order to try to determine what's going on. So those are three-dimensional formulas. You need to practice them, but after you've done a few, they're really not that difficult.